Welcome to Dubai, one of the world's most dynamic cities and all year round a haven for tourists with its eye-catching exotic mix of architecture, the old and the new, and the tallest building in the world at 830 meters tall, the magnificent Burj Khalifa. Dubai is one of seven emirates in the country of the United Arab Emirates, located on the southeastern coast of the Persian Gulf. And for the fourth consecutive year, Dubai is playing host to the staff sport of badminton's end of season finale, the MetLife Dubai World Super Series Finals. The venue, the state-of-the-art Hamdan Sports Complex, a world-class facility for world-class badminton end of season championships. Star billing in the men's doubles features the Japanese pairing of uh, Takeshi Kamura and Keigo Sonoda. These boys are unbeaten in the tournament and they've already accounted for their semi-final opponents today in the round-robin format, the Indonesian pairing of the world number one doubles. These are the Japanese, but the Indonesians, Marcus Gideon and Kevin Sukamulio, world number one. They have already tasted defeat against their Japanese opponents today, so there's work to do for them. And in a glittering parade of world-class doubles, we're looking forward to the much-celebrated Danish pairing in the women's of Camilla Dürr and Christina Pedersen. The morning session, the semi-finals day in five doubles matches. This is our order of play. We begin with the uh, women's doubles of Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota of Japan against China's Huang Yachong and Yu Xiaohan. That's our first women's doubles. Followed by the first of the men's doubles, Takeshi Kamura of Japan with Keigo Sonoda. They're unbeaten and they're playing the world's number one, Marcus Gideon and Kevin Sanjay Sukumulio of Indonesia. The second then of the women's doubles matches featuring the real Olympic silver medalist from Denmark, Camilla Yule and Christina Pedersen against Japan's Shiho Tanaka and Koharo Yunamoto. The men's doubles second semi-final featuring the 2012 London Olympic silver medalist Matthias Bo and Carsten Morgensen of Denmark against Liu Qing and Zhang Nan of China. Zhang won Olympic gold in Rio but not with Liu. The last match in the morning session is the mixed doubles between Wang Yiliu and Huang Dongpin. They're unbeaten. World number three against the Hong Kong left-handed pairing of Tang Chung Man and Tzu Ying Suet. So five matches in the semi-finals today in the morning session. All of them featuring in the doubles. We start with the women's doubles first on court. Tense moments for all the players as they get their last minute tuning and stretches done. Starting, as I say, with Yuki Fukushima, Sayaka Hiroto of Japan against China's Huang Yachong and Yu Xiaohan. Well, it's been uh, some extraordinary good action in this Dubai World Super Series Finals. And the crowds have been uh, coming in to watch some tremendous action. It'll build up later in the day because we have two sessions today. So let's uh, welcome the players on court with your Master of Ceremonies, Howard Bentham. This is the Dubai World Super Series Finals. This is the Dubai World Super Series Finals. Please welcome the players in the women's doubles. First up from Japan, Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota. Japanese pairing with a world ranking of five, ranked two here in Dubai for these World Super Series finals. They won all three matches in Group B. And let's hear it for their opponents, the number nine seeds from 
from China, Huang Yaqiong and Yu Han. World ranked 14, but Dubai ranking of nine, the Chinese pairing, they won two out of their three matches in Group A. They lost their first match to uh, the more illustrious Chinese pairing in Group A. Well, this will be a, a nervous moment as uh, the umpire, Mahadu, tosses the coin. Sitting alongside me, I've got uh, delighted to welcome Steen Peterson, former national team coach to the Danish national team. Steen, it's, it's, it's going to be a busy morning. We've got uh, doubles, uh, semi-finals here. We're starting with this first women's doubles contest. Yeah, it's uh, really a strong lineup we've got in front of us. Um, very, very interesting matches, and I'm looking forward to this match here with the world champion uh, silver medalist from Japan. Yeah, Yuki Fukushima, 24 years of age, with that world ranking of five. This is Sayaka Hirota, 23 years of age. Won all three of their matches in the round robin format. So coming into the first semi final, these are the pairing who are in form. Yeah. Definitely. Um Japanese pair had already uh, assured themselves of qualification ahead of the match against the Danes, and so had the Danes. So interesting to see where they stand today. Huang Ya Chong, 23 years of age. Not so sure that that knee braces much more than a sort of stability cover just to keep the, the knee stable. There's so much pressure goes on to the knee with the movement on the badminton court and her partner. Well, she's matching the, <laughs> the knee brace on the right knee. Yu Chao Han, 23 years of age. Highest ranking of 10 in the world. Now, this Chinese pairing in uh, Dubai, they were ranked at nine. They uh, won two out of three. They lost Ready to, to Cheng and Jie Yifeng. And against Tanaka. Uh, Tanumoto, they did win, so they've got uh, certainly got mileage, good mileage, as they head to this first semi final. Head to head, it's 2 uh, 1. Wang one and Yu Xiaohan, they lead 2 1. The uh, umpire is Sakawan. Uh, Mahadu and uh, our service judge Ivanka Pokroni from Croatia. So five doubles semi-finals in the morning session here. It's a busy day of action in the MetLife Dubai World Super Series finals here. We're starting with the women's doubles, the first semi-final. Steen, how do you see this? Yeah, uh, an open match with um, a little advantage to the Japanese side, in my opinion. But um, what's really interesting to see is that now we're leaving the group stage. There's no more um, uh, sort of lifelines. You can lose a match like this Chinese pair have done. Ladies and gentlemen, now it's uh, on my win right, or Yuki go Fukushima, home. And, uh, Sayaka, that's nice. Hirota, Japan. And on my left, Huang Yachong, Yu Xiaohan, China. 
from Chahong to serve to Yuki Fukushima. Level play. Service over, one love. Oh. Hirota occupying the back of the court love. for the Japanese. Good quick start this for Japan. Very good start. <laughs> Not happy with the start of her pair. Pan Li, the Chinese coach. Five. That's good smash from Love. Hirota. And we've been talking about the other days, um, Alan, that there's a slight drift here in the uh, arena in uh, the Hamdan Sport Complex. and. The Japanese, I noticed, they deliberately chose to start on this near side of the court um, after winning the uh, coin toss. Elected to start here and left it to the Chinese side, whether they wanted to serve or receive. Excellent rally. Uh, Fukushima very busy at the... Uh, Six. At the net. Love. You can see as well, Steen, that uh, the Japanese pairing are alternating front and back of court. They're not really adopting any ascendancy. Quite comfortable in both positions on the court. Yeah, yeah, that's um, that's been the development or sort of the trademark of the top pairings that they have a Seven. preferred. Um, Positions, uh, a preferred front court player and preferred back court player, but they are capable of, they're perfectly capable of working in the opposite positions. Um, the Chinese pair would have a preference for um, having Huang Ya Chong on the front court. And uh, her partner, Yu Xiaohan, on the back court, but a terrible start for the Chinese pair here. Yeah, this is very quickly. Eight hey, love. Hirota. And they've mixed it up well, um, Hirota and uh, Fukushima, with both well placed smashes, but also these drop shots that are getting the Chinese pair out of position in their defensive stances. Deception that from uh, Hirota, and again, just to emphasize your Nine point there, Steen, the way that in that rally they changed places so comfortably, seamlessly. Yeah, satisfied coaches. <laughs> it's better than they've dreamt of. Nine nothing start. Yeah, look at this. Nine love. <laughs> just wide. It's just wide. Service over. First point One, for nine. the Chinese pairing in this semi-final. 
I think that's just about the first mistake from uh, Japan. important for them just to get to the halfway point in this first game for China to get some points here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You. Get going. Is that a little warning on time Two wasting? Nine. Yeah, no. Just a little? No, it was... Um, shouldn't show her clinched fish fist at the uh, opponent. <laughs> I think the umpire probably was the only one who noticed. <laughs> no one else did. Good placement of that clear. Oh, that's way too short. Oh no, that was just so wide, so just out from Huang. Ten, two. So Fukushima and Hirota of Japan leading this first women's double semi-final 10 points to two against China's Huang and Yu. So Huang with the point. Three, ten. Well, they have a world ranking of 14, the Chinese pairing compared with five for the Japanese. So there is a gulf between them at the top of the uh, order in the world. So Great counter over. attack there by uh, And at the halfway stage, it's uh, all Japan who lead 11 points to three in this first women's <laughs> double semi-final. <laughs> Hirota with serve, Japan leading 11-3. First game of this first women's double semi-final. from the back of the court from Fukushima. 12, Lovely deception. Three. Yeah, and a great placement of that last um, lift. Catches uh, Huang Yachong doing a backhand shot there. Had it been a little bit more to the right, then I think Yu Han would have uh, taken over with her forehand, but perfect placement. Service so road called. Service over. Fold Service 12. Fold called against Sayaka Hirota. Yeah, not pointing in a downwards direction. The racket hit coming up. Yeah, the racket hit is actually allowed to come up after the shuttle is hit. It's when the shuttle is hit that. Uh, is the decisive point and then 
We've seen it a number of times in the tournament here that the service judges um, have called these faults. Some very good defensive work from Fukushima. And in the end, the error Five, coming from Hirota. China gradually crawling back into this first game. It's 12-5. Backhand into the net from Hirota. <laughs> Tall of the two Chinese, Yu Xiaohan, with serve here. Finished off by Fukushima. So Good rally. That. Yeah, in the beginning of the rally, both pairs are sort of um, trying a little bit to find an opening without um, exposing themselves too much. And then suddenly the Japanese pair succeeded, got a weak shot back, and then went for the kill. Very nice play. Two so defensive backhands six, from Fukushima. The first one was successful. The second one she couldn't deal with. And those smashes coming in from Huang. Service over, 14-6. Nice they seem a little bit unprepared for what they are facing here, um, Yu and uh, Huang, and that's that's a little um, surprising. Unusual, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, it's surprising they played three Service matches over. in the arena. They should Seven, know um, how the playing conditions are by now, and it's like... They didn't expect the Japanese to come out firing on, on this side of the court here. That, that's a little bit of a blunder in my opinion. Yu Xiaohan with serve. Chinese pairing trailing 7-14. news for for you and Huang is that they've stopped the bleeding um, trailing 11-2 at um, the interval so actually it's 6-3 uh, after the interval and, and that's um, that's comforting for the Chinese side coming forward in this match Over. Just long, just 15, out. But, uh, I think, but oh yes, we're just seeing here a little more confidence. The rallies are a bit longer here. The Chinese pairing gaining a little bit more confidence, but they still trail by seven. Yeah, and, and they're going to have a hard time coming back in this uh, first game. Of course, it's possible. We saw some extraordinary comebacks um, yesterday with uh, someone Hall coming back from 6-16 down 16, and the game down he came back to win the match but it's um, not very likely most of the matches where players hold such a big lead here they go on to win the game
And after that start, it's all about getting yourself into the game and hopefully be ready for the second for the Chinese pair. Yeah, lovely play from Hirota. 17, 8. Well, the Japanese pairing came to Dubai with a, a ranking of 2 compared with 9 for the Chinese pairing here. Movement around the court from the Japanese girls is really superior. You can see the way they move. Great smash. And they've been dominant in the attack. 18, the Japanese pair, eight. Fukushima and uh, Hirota. The thing is that this could easily change in, in the second game because um, Huang and Yu will be playing with the drift. So they might be able to take over the command there. Oi, that's a great deception. So it's over. 9, 18. Racket looks like it's going to be a straight shot and just changes in the, in the nick of time. One. Sending the Japanese to the left side and the shuttle to the right. Nice shot. Service over. Forehand straight into 19. the middle of the net. Nine. She prepared for a home run there. Yu Shaohan. Bit of a wild swing. Hirota, Japan leading 19-9 in this first game. Oi, yeah. confusion. Service oh. over. 10-19. They've done a good job. Um, Hirota and Fukushima as well in, in keeping Huang Yachong from directing um, the rallies and sort of creating um, possibilities for Yu Shaohan. Normally that's what happens. Uh, Huang is the creative player on the front court, but every time she's attempted it, something like this has happened. She's put on the back court so and targeted in the defense. 20, game point 10. And that... Uh, Smash here from Hirota gives Japan game point. 2010. So Hirota was defending. 11, A barrage of 20. heavy stuff from uh, the Chinese pairing. One game point saved. Twelve twenty. Terrific shot this. What a good winner from uh, Yu Xiaohan. Just slightly the taller of the two of the Chinese players. It's uh, Huang now with serve. Twelve twenty. That's it again. Yeah. Very powerful smash 13, from Wu Xiaohan. Japan must be careful here not to take their foot off the pedal. They had such a commanding lead. Still a game point, of course, but... Yeah, uh, yeah I, I totally agree. Uh, it's not so much this game <laughs> I'm worried the about. The next but, one. But why getting the Chinese pair started and showing them how they can score? Let's go wide. That's wide. Game. 
First game, won by First game then Fukushima, going to the Sayaka, Hirota, Japanese pairing of Yuki Fukushima, 30. Sayaka Hirota, 21-30 after just 20 minutes. China have well, hope that they don't start as badly as they did in that opening game of this first semi-final in the women's doubles. Nine love. The Japanese pairing of Yuki Fukushima, Sayaka Hirota had second game. Love all. Got off to a racing start. Yeah, and since that start, it was pretty much even from there. Hmm. 21-13, first game for Japan. Service fault called. Service, Service over. Above the waist. Struck above the waist. Service judge from Croatia, Mr. Sokini. There we are. A judge above the waist from serving from above the waistline. Sohan crashes the net. Yeah. And a good defensive uh, rally from uh, the Japanese uh, side. I saw uh, the coaches use all of their lot of time between the first and the second game. So that's two minutes and your pairs won 21 13. Now, why is that? In my opinion, that's because you need to be really, really careful playing that far side of the court because if you back too much in your defense, you will be in trouble. You won't be able to get the correct length on your shot, so you have to play uh, a flatter defense, so to speak. And they did perfectly in um, that previous rally. This one wasn't bad either. Straight smash down between the two opponents, Wang Yachong and Yu Xiaohan. And there we saw how you can get in trouble. First lift a bit too short. And then so much pressure from Wang Yachong that the second lift was even shorter and he was able to kill it. So that's pretty much what the battle is going to be about here in the second game. Will Fukushima and Hirota be able to control the rallies? And if they're not controlling, will they be able to get the correct length on their shot? The Chinese pair struggled with that in the first game. Three, two. Three, two to Japan. The 
Rota with the winner. Yeah, and, and she was again taking it so early that she had possibilities. She didn't have to lift. Good shot. Very good shot from Yu Xiaohan. Free all. Just took the pace off it here. Not a full blooded smash by any means. Totally exposing herself and her partner Four, there, Yusha Huang. Huang is uh, looking on the big screen here in uh, Hamdan Sport Complex. See what, what happened there? Was I supposed to cover that one or um, was it my partner who sold me out? Good job. Huang this time with the power. But it's a much better start for the Chinese. It's four all in this second game. Yeah, and, and when you lose the first game after a start like that, it's always going to be a bit of a rough day at the office uh, coming back because it takes away <laughs> the, the, the top of your self-confidence, no matter what, even if you start on the presumably worst side of the court. It's still not nice to feel that you, you don't hit it well in the beginning. Oh, that's a mistake Five, from uh, Hirota. And they've made very few mistakes, the Japanese, but this is one right here. Yeah. Backhand into the net. And China lead. I think it's the first time they've led yeah. in this semi final. They've been in front. Not for long. She was alert to that, Yu uh, Xiaohan. She was going for it. Execution. Leaving a bit behind, though. Fukushima serves. And makes the mistake with that forehand. Nice Six. return of serve from Five. Yu. She hooks it straight into the net. Japanese players, the team won all three matches in Group B. And uh, the Chinese pairing won two out of their three, getting here to the semi-final. Yeah, and they lost the match to the compatriots of their opponents today, um, Yonemoto and uh, Tanaka. So probably gave the uh, coaches um, bit of a clue on how to play the Chinese girls. It's gone right. Service over. Six. Oh. Well, Japan know that they've got a fight on their hands right now in this second game. As you said, Steen, it was uh, how Japan would cope with playing on that side of the court and how China would come back in this second game. Understanding straight between the two Chinese players, Seven, six. Yeah. and of course, one of the things that we haven't um, uh, mentioned is that um, this is uh, temporarily the last tournament that Yu Xiaohan and uh, Huang Yachong is playing together. Um, Huang Yachong focusing on her mixed doubles with Jiang Si Wei. Uh, in the uh, upcoming tournaments in January in Malaysia and Indonesia, and Yu Xiaohan entered in women's Six. doubles with Tang Jinhua. So, um, Huang not doing doubles duty in in those tournaments, and uh, I suspect they might be partnered again in um, in uh, Uber Cup <laughs> later on this year. Nine. That's that's a definite possibility. Six.
she's, uh, she's always got a lot to say. Yeah. China's coach. Nine six. But three points now between them again. It's, uh, Japan have gone ahead nine six. Oi, that was going wide. There's a challenge. Juan has challenged here. Ooh, good call too. Good challenge from Juan. Correction out. Service over. Seven. Nine. Play. That's an important challenge as well. Seven nine, a lot different from ten six. Yeah, they really needed, they really needed this one. Little sign there from Yu Xiaohan to her partner. work initially in that rally from Fukushima. And then Hirota, the shuttle was heading straight at her. Yu Xiaohan is the tall of the two Chinese players and she gets a little bit more elevation. The shuttle comes down from a higher trajectory. Exactly, and a bit more power. like the previous rally just keeping it downwards with drop shots Huang not trying to apply power excellent excellent work there by uh, Yuki Fukushima service over 10 8 there's a little too many drop shots to my taste from Huang Yachong because I think it's too easy for the Japanese to pick up on it well, they look supremely fit there their footwork and court coverage is so good. Take one step closer to the net, the Japanese pair, they will be able to outplay Huang Yachong if they do that, if they meet the shot a little bit earlier. Fukushima, and in the end, it's Japan who take the point. It's the longest rally of this semi-final. Tremendous point that was earned by Japan, and they lead at the break 11 points to eight in this second game and by a game to love. いい
说那仙公子，立起来先挡两边，因为你们这边仙公子又强又是等，一步一步一步一步，然后想办法再把前去掐死，他不给你从那挡挡两边动手，你动动动动。It's a Eleven critical eight. stage right now for the Chinese pairing of Huang and Yu. They've only been ahead by a point Eleven eight. early in the Eleven. second game when they led 6-5 and didn't last for long. But now it's Japan leading 11-8 in this second game, having taken the first 21-13. Good work again from the Japanese pairing. Yeah, and great follow-up. And one of the interesting things is that when Huang Yachong is on the uh, back court from the Japanese side, uh, Fukushima and, and um, Hirota, they're not trying to play flat lifts because if they do that, she will just clear back at the Japanese pair. When Yu Xiaohan is on the back court, who is the um, designated back court player, they want to lift flat because they want her to take um, chances um, and, and think that um, it's possible to, to make a good smash when it in fact isn't. So they want her to make um, not so wise choices. Chong always looking for a chance to come forward, but she's pretty undangerous, to put it mildly, right now from the back court. Great backhand from Huang across court. And she can't play herself forward. There was the clear. Very, very good tactical play from the Japanese. They're not at all afraid of the attack from Huang Yachong. Now they're going to drop to Yu you Xiaohan. It's absolutely perfect. That's wide. That forehand smash from Hirota after a so long, energy-consuming rally. 12. Again, high-quality rally, this. One shots in that rally, the longest of the match. <laughs> they would have loved to play an 81 shot rally <laughs> in the first nine rallies of this match, the Chinese pair, because that went quick to 0 9. <laughs> Huang with the serve, China leading. Uh, rather trailing at 9 12 in this second game. Great defense from Yu. Yeah, but Huang can't follow it. So this she's over. looking a little exasperated from the back 13, of the court, Huang. As you say, Steen, she's looking to get in, but she's playing most of this second game from the back. That's the frustration. They just haven't been able to get their foot in front here just for a fleeting moment where they won where they led by a point early in this second game it, there was the flat lift from uh, Hirota 14, put pressure nine. movement wise on uh, Yu Xiaohan and uh, she came up with the wrong solution there it comes not in really good balance a big mistake Fourteen nine, Japan leading second game. Great 
defense. Tremendous defense from Huang to keep that rally going. And in the end, it was you who had to 15, nine. make a great retrieve. It couldn't quite do it, but Huang was marvelous in that point. Nice touch, yeah. She's smiling, but you'd rather have uh, seen her players take that point. It's 15-9 now. The gap is six points in this second game. Can China come back into this first semi-final? the women's doubles. Still in. 16, 9. Little error of judgment from uh, Yu Xiaohun. Yeah. Right under her nose, wasn't it? I can't help thinking how much I'm looking forward to the Uber Cup in May in uh, Bangkok. I think uh, Japan really has the chance to uh, challenge the reigning champions from China. Had four pairs in the top eight in the Super Series rankings, but the rules only allow two pairs from each country, so the Olympic uh, so gold medalist uh, Takahashi 10, and Matsutomo, 16. they're sitting back home in Japan watching this, even though they were in top eight. And also, uh, you know, and um, yeah, and just uh, so over. 17, 10. Forgotten her partner's name. <laughs> Sorry for that. <laughs> Fantastic. Fukushima. Yeah. 18, 10. See how she comes forward and makes the. Yeah, she point. anticipated it. She anticipated it. So now eight points the difference, and uh, the Japanese pairing of Yuki Fukushima, who's serving here, and Sayaka Hirota on their way to a place in the so final. So it's over, 11, 18. China came back towards the end of the first game, but it was uh, too little too late, and have they left it way too late in this second. It looks like it, they have. Oh, that's great. Tremendous play from Huang again. She's been 12, busy 18. when she gets into the front of the court. That's where she's at her most dangerous. Yeah, and she can use her, her skills from the mixed doubles here. Of course, China changed the pairings in the mixed doubles recently. And Huang Yek Chong won three straight, straight tournaments with her new partner, Zhang Si Wei. We have to remember that she's also the reigning All England champion with uh, Lu Kai. So Han looked a little flat-footed. Hirota here would serve the Japanese pairing 19-12 in front. Two points away from a place in the final. So over. Forehand into the net 13, from Fukushima. 19. Saw a gap. 
次、左、右、左で前、前、前、前、詰めて、上げたら下がればいい、前、詰めて、トライ。Tremendous pick up from Huang. And the smash this time from Hirota. And so Yu Xiao Han couldn't 20, deal with it. Match point 13. And this smash from Hirota. You can only just look at that smash landing in front of her. It's match point for the Japanese pairing of Yuki Fukushima, Sayaka Hirota. And they really had been the dominant pair in this first women's doubles semi-final. They've completely outplayed the Chinese pairing. Service over, 14, well, they're world 20. rankings at five for Japan for this Japanese pairing and 14 for the Chinese and here in Dubai for these World Super Series finals two and nine so there is a gulf between the two teams and it has shown okay. one challenges called out well it's the call is out, and uh, the challenge has come from Huang. If she doesn't get this challenge, it is uh, the match for the Japanese pairing. All eyes on this now. And challenge unsuccessful. The challenge okay. is unsuccessful. The Japanese pairing of Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota have dealt with the Chinese pairing of Huang Ya Chong and Yu Xiao Han in this first women's double semi-final and they've done it emphatically with a high-class display 21-13, 21-14 Fukushima one by and Hirota Yuki. are Fukushima, in the final Fukushima, Sayaka, Hirota, 21-13, well, 21-14 world-class play from this Japanese pairing Absolutely fantastic play, especially the tactical aspect of it. They helped the Chinese in a strong grip from the beginning of the match, and they never let go. Really, really strong performance. The feature was the way they... There was an understanding on court from the Japanese pairing that you didn't quite see with the Chinese pairing. And I guess that's reflected in their world ranking.
Fukushima and Hirota. Yuki Fukushima, Sayaka Hirota are in the women's doubles final. And they will await the winners of the Camilla Yule, Christina Pedersen. Danish pairing against Tanaka and Yonemoto. And uh, that is a second women's double semi-final coming up this morning. We've got the men's doubles first semi-final coming now. The world number one, Gideon and Sukamulio from Indonesia against the unbeaten Japanese, Kamura and Sonoda. And then we do have that women's doubles second semi-final, Yulin Pedersen, Kanaka, Yonemoto, followed by the second men's doubles, and we finish with a mixed doubles semi-final last this morning. <laughs>